my loves. I'm so excited today to do an unboxing for you. Of course, I couldn't wait as usual. So it's more like an unbagging <laughs> because I've taken it out of the box already, but it is Chanel. So that'll make up for some of the anticipation. Let's get into it. I did get this from Fashion File, of course, with all of the crazy price increases that Chanel continuously has. I didn't buy a brand new bag. This one is vintage, which means it's even better. Let me just go ahead and show you and then I'll tell you the backstory behind it and give you some tips on what to look for. It's definitely a different bag from what I'm used to. It's red, but not just any color red. This is the most beautiful, almost ox blood, but kind of strawberry, like a deep berry color red. I'm not sure how it's gonna come across on camera, but the best way I can describe it is when you open up a cherry starburst. It's like that exact luscious color. So of course, buying pre-loved, we all worry about the condition. This is calfskin. It's definitely durable. The craftsmanship is amazing. And what I like about this bag is that it has classic elements with just the right amount of modern contemporary vibes. This is called the Chanel flap on modern chain. This is in the size medium. After I saw this one, I did find size small on some other websites, but I think this is the perfect size. It's called the modern chain. And let me show you one of the best things about this bag. The chain actually goes all the way down into the sides. I thought that was so cool. And that's really what made me go ahead and take the leap to buy this bag. The other thing that's really interesting about the chain is that it has double woven leather in between the chain itself. And instead of going up the center, they each run along the sides. Let me give you the stats on it. I'm pulling up my Fashion File profile right now because I bought it on Fashion File and I love that they keep track of everything. Okay, so when I saw it on Fashion File, it said that it was in condition very good, which is definitely something I look for. Very good or better than that, but I've never purchased anything lower than very good. That's the original price on this bag, which is under $2,000, which I thought was phenomenal. This one came with the authenticity card. Let me show you that stuff too. There's a few scuffs, which is to be expected. It is like a 20 year old bag. It's almost 20 years. It's definitely giving vintage vibes, which I love. It's so soft and squishy, which I am definitely more drawn to a soft, squishy, bag, a more relaxed bag than I am a structured bag. So this gives me the best of both worlds. It doesn't have any feet on the bottom. The interior is absolutely gorgeous as well. We all know once we cut this off, it's not going back to fashion file. So that just has some more information on the bag itself and that it was authenticated. I usually save these, but I do know that they keep track of all of your orders online. So that's great. It also came with the authenticity card. This person must definitely be a bag lover because they kept the original Chanel information card. It has this cute little booklet. Oops, I thought it was just the information card, like how to take care of the bag. But this is actually a little story, I think. It's very long and it's all in French. And then on the back, there's artwork. I definitely appreciate the fact that they kept it and they did give it back with the bag. Uh, this, I believe, is bag information cards. Oh, so here's the same story. Okay, let's see. A woman, a name, a legend. Her name was Gabrielle. Her nickname was Mademoiselle, but she will always be known as Coco. By transforming practicality into an aesthetic, she set women free and invented a unique style that is both utterly personal and universally recognized. So I guess this is like a baby biography. Maybe you're familiar with that. I don't think that comes with the new ones. Those are the two items that came with it, the authenticity card and then that little envelope there. The interior is this beautiful, classic tan and it has the serial number in there you can see in that corner the little yellow serial number and then Chanel made in France is written there in silver there's one pocket that zips and then there is one pocket that does not zip it's just open but this bag is so squishy and soft. I just absolutely love it. Now the flap is soft like the rest of the bag. So when it falls closed, it doesn't just automatically snap. You have to kind of line it up and then it the magnetic closure kind of pulls it in. And it doesn't have an adjustable strap. It's just one size. So let me show you that. Isn't that cute? It's like the perfect size. I just think that's so beautiful. 
I have another purchase from Chanel. This was inspired by another lovely creator and YouTuber who is in the bag space. And her name is Sibby Marie. So check her out. I love her videos. But she inspired me to get this because it's something that I've wanted from Chanel for a very long time. I have not been able to find it in store or on the website, but she recently got it. So I ran, I didn't walk, I ran <laughs> to try to get my hands on one as well. So let me show you what that is. And of course I opened this too. You already know that. At least I have the box this time. When I ordered, I did request a little gift card. You never know when these will come in handy. This is just the receipt, but it does come in a nice envelope. You have all of your paperwork in one place. It has this cute little sticker inside the adorable packaging. The item that I actually got is the Chanel double mirror. I have been looking for this for at least two years, like actively looking for it for two years. Sometimes I probably fell off. I know it's probably not that difficult, but still it was always sold out online. And when I was in the stores, they never had them in stock. It comes with this lovely little velvet pouch and then the mirror itself. I will admit, I thought that it was going to feel a little bit like thicker or more durable. It seems a little thin. It's definitely functional because it has the the magnifying side and then the regular side. So let me give you a quick close up of that. It's nice and thin, which I do really appreciate because I don't want a thick mirror. So that's that. And this is the nice little pouch that it comes in. And it's got the Chanel logo as well. And then when you buy on the beauty site, of course you get the little freebies. The freebies came in this cute little Chanel pouch, which I will probably use for something in my purse anyway, like, I don't know, crayons for the kids. I always have like these little packs of crayons. So I'll probably put those in here now so that they stay nice and out of the way. And they're in still like a cute little pouch. So my purse will be cutely accessorized. Or you can use this as like a little electronic kit where you keep chargers or something like that in there. But there's a million different things you can use these little pouches for, which I love. For my two samples, I chose Rouge Allure, which is the... <laughs> which is the lipstick. I forgot I already tried it on. The color is in shade 80. It's called Timeless. It's this gorgeous red. I think that's pretty. If I can find this shade in a different texture, um, like a different line, I would definitely consider getting that. And then I also got the number one De Chanel hand cream, which looks like it's only half full. With this light, I can see it. It's definitely up to here. Yeah, it's really nice that they give out the samples. I would imagine that they could fill them up a little bit more. That would be great. <laughs> Can't complain when it's free, but maybe they could use like a smaller plastic container if they're not going to fill it up all the way. Anyway, that's what I bought. Thank you to Miss Sibby Marie for letting me know and letting all of us know that that was available online. Okay. Now for some tips about how I actually scored this bag for under $2,000 in excellent condition. I would say it's excellent because it's so old. I know they had it as very good. So let me watch what I say because it was listed as very good. And this is the condition in which it came. I'm the kind of person that has a million tabs open on their phone. In my Safari app, I actually have Let's see how many I have. 108 tabs open right now. My biggest tip when searching for pre-loved bags is to open up a tab, search what you're looking for, or put in maybe your filters if you don't have an exact bag, but you're kind of looking for like a range of bags. For each bag or each range of bags that you're looking for, have a tab open so that you can just open it up and refresh it and check it every day. Whether you want to sort it from lowest price or newest item, those are the only two things I sort by. And it's because because usually if I'm searching within a range of bags, I know that they're all gonna be in that range. And so I just wanna see the newest ones that are coming in. I heard a tip also though, if you search by oldest, that a lot of times the ones that have been sitting for the longest tend to go on sale. Depending on what you're trying to do, I've had the best luck with newest, like being the first one to kind of see the bags and put it in my cart. Another thing about me though, I will leave some stuff in my cart and, <laughs> and debate on if I really need it or say, okay, God, if I don't need to have it, then let somebody else get it. So I'm definitely a cart waiter or what? It, what is it? Cart hoarder? I don't know. What do they call that? We need to make a name for that. Let me know. Cart saver, maybe? Let me show you kind of what I mean. In my collection, I've always wanted a speedy bandolier. I always find bags that I would rather get over that, <laughs> but I know it's a classic. I know it'll always be there. And I know that they're not too hard to find pre-loved. Every now and then I'll check. So let's see. All right. So what I would do is I would put in speedy bandolier and let me show you this. 
I could either adjust the filter for the pricing, or if I'm like willing to pay whatever for whatever this bag is, I wouldn't touch that and I would just sort by newest. And so these are the newest bags that have come in. And just me personally, I tend to remember like this bag is nuts. I think that's super cool. So I would remember that. They don't refresh too often. Well, depending on what bag, <laughs> what bag you're looking at. Some of them do, they get a lot of them in. So I would just leave this tab open and then I would just refresh each day if it's something I'm really looking for or a few times a day or whatever. If the last bag I saw was this one and I'll say, oh, well now they have two new bags. Oh, this one's only $16.95. Let me go ahead and put that in my cart. That's one way of doing it. Another way is like I said, to have your filters on. So on this filter, I went and just did Chanel 1000 to 2000, which is how I found this particular bag. So I would sort by newest. Unfortunately, you kind of have to go through all of them or maybe refine your filter or do lowest to highest. But usually with filters, you're not gonna have as many pages to go through, so it's okay. But you would just refresh just like the other one and see there's already another bag from the last bag we saw. Actually, the last bag we saw, I put in my cart. You see there's 10 items in my cart. Let's see if it's still there because I just added it to my cart. No, it's not. It's gone. See, there was a bag that came in an hour before I did this video and it was a black bag. Super cute. Under 1500, I think. I can't remember the price because it's gone now and it's gone. I'm telling you, if there's something that you really, really, really want, you better snag it quick <laughs> because the good deals, they go really fast. Let me refresh and see if it's there. It is really gone. Oh, how sad. See? It wasn't meant to be. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It was not meant to be. I just got that red one a few weeks ago and this price was even better, but it wasn't meant to be. Okay, let me focus again. So that's my biggest tip is to utilize the search features, refresh, search them often. Hopefully you can find a great deal too. They're few and far between, but they are there. You just have to take your time and be ready though. There's several deals that came up just like the one I was talking about that came either after I bought a bag or when I just really wasn't looking for a bag or when I didn't want to put that money towards a bag. So just be ready and always be on the lookout. Another tip is to look at the condition, look at the pictures as best as you can, and then make sure that whatever platform you're using, they have a great return policy. That's the only reason why I ever started with Fashion File last year when I first got into pre-love bags is because I knew that they had a great return policy. I knew that they had in-house authentication and I knew that they would buy bag bags, all the things. So just look into all of their little policies. One thing that helped me feel more confident about this particular one is that there's a fashion file in Dallas. So I knew that if I didn't like the condition and I wanted to sell it back, I could easily take it in store, which before I think they I think I knew last year that they had Dallas, a Dallas location, but I didn't really know where it was. But I was actually walking around North Park Mall one day and saw that they had a storefront display in Neiman Marcus and it had on the display that they were on the third level. So now I knew exactly where the location was. I knew I could just bring the bag into North Park, which we go to all the time anyway. They're definitely not gonna get this one back, but if I needed to, I could definitely go in store. If you have any local consignment shops, frequent those so that you can see in store what you're getting and you can build a relationship with the people who work there. If you're buying online, just be sure that you agree with their whole like line of business practices and policies. And I cannot believe that this still smells like brand new leather. The leather on this smells so good. It's like so supple. I'm really in shock. I don't have a vintage Chanel, but I have heard that the quality is way better and that they last a lot longer. They hold up nicely. And I'm definitely seeing that with this bag. Like I just love the feel of it, the smell of it, the look of it. I always say I'm not a red person, but this is such a deep red. The lights are making it look a little bit brighter, but we do have a leather couch tough did with this exact same color. So I'm really into this color of things, not necessarily clothes, but I love that because just like this outfit here, it gives it like a pop of color instead of being a full outfit of color. So my wardrobe doesn't have to get too crazy to match it. It's just that I let this be the statement piece. Sometimes I just scroll fashion file like I would scroll Instagram. <laughs> 
I don't even get on Instagram that much anymore. I'm just like looking at bags and just looking, imagining which is gonna be my next one and all the cool designs that they've come out with that I've never seen. It's just really a whole thing. So be careful when you're getting on there and just browsing, it's very tempting. Thank you for letting me share the excitement of this new to me Chanel bag, <laughs> the secondhand Chanel bag. And I hope that I gave you some tips that may help you find your next luxury bag purchase. Be sure to check out this video here so I can see you in the next. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.